What is up you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe button and let me know what is on your wish list or what's on your radar as far as an item. I would love to hear it down below. I'm gonna be giving you a quick outfit of the day. I kind of am transitioning into kind of like this preppy style. I've always been kind of into it and I remember growing up, my mom would always buy us like loafers instead of like Nikes and like, you know, trousers instead of denim. And so I'm kind of like, even though I really hated that growing up, I feel like I didn't fit in. It's actually really my style and I'm actually kind of liking it a little bit more. So I feel like I am gonna go more into that kind of preppy style and I find that it suits my style pretty, pretty well, but still be kind of androgynous and kind of low-key about it. Um, so I'm gonna give you a quick outfit that I'm wearing. So these glasses are from The Row, X All Over People collaboration. This top is from The Row. Um, this button-up is from Theory. This one's not an oversized one, it's just like a regular one, but I actually kind of like it. Um, classic hoodie watch that I always wear. My slacks are just basic black slacks from ALC, and then my Gucci loafers that I've had for three. And then the fragrance that I'm wearing today is By the Fireplace by Mason Margiela. So I decided to give you a little quick outfit deets, and if you can find any of the items, I'll leave them linked down below. But without further ado, I'm gonna scoot over right here, and I'm gonna be showing you the items that I want. On my wish list, I have 12 items, so I will try to be fast on this, or try to not take a long time, because you know me, I love to talk so much. I feel like we're on a FaceTime call every single time to chat you guys so let's go ahead and get started the first item that I want to add well the first and the second item are all from one brand and it's Goyard and the reason why I like Goyard is because I like the heritage I like how exclusive they are how refined how it's a very recognizable print but not a lot of people have it and it's it's a little bit of exclusivity for me I, I like that you know for example here in Texas there's only one point of distribution for Goyard and that's the Goyard boutique in Highland Park Versus you compare it to, you know, Louis Vuitton when there's a Louis Vuitton. There's two Louis Vuittons at North Park. There's one in Plano. There's one in Fort Worth. There's another one at the Dallas Galleria. In Houston, there's one inside Saks. There's one in the Woodlands. There's one here. And then there's the men's store. And then, you know, there's so many locations. So what I'm trying to say, I like how it's a little bit more refined. And I think that's what my style is. And so that's why I have a lot of respect for Goyard. And I think that the Goyard canvas is pretty great quality. I mean, obviously, we know that St. Louis may have problems over time, but away from the St. Louis toe, I've never really seen a lot of problems from Goyard, and that's what makes me really like the brand. And like I said, I like the heritage, and I like the actual positioning of the monogram. And so, therefore, there that's why I have two items on my wish list. The first item is going to be the Goyard Vanity Cake. Now, I saw HRH Collection buy this last year, and I quite liked it. She actually bought it in the Dallas boutique, and so she bought it, she unboxed it, and I instantly fell in love. And so when earlier last year, when I bought a gift for a friend at the Goyard boutique, I saw the vanity bag, and I tried it on, and I really liked it. So I knew in the back of my mind I wanted to add a vanity bag, and honestly, there's not a lot of cute vanity bags. Like, I guess I have a small Troy Birch one, but as far as, like, a big, beautiful vanity bag, I don't really see that in the contemporary space or in the designer space other than like Louis Vuitton and so or like a train case or like the Dior ones or the Chanel ones but the Dior ones are fabric and that's going to get dirty very easily um, the Chanel ones are a little out of my price point the Louis Vuitton ones are a little bit too common for me so I like that the Goyard one is really pretty I like that I would I would carry it as a handbag or kind of iffy about toiletry bags or vanity bags wearing them as bags I would actually wear it as a bag I wouldn't wear it all the time but I think there's a perfect time and place to wear it and I think it's so beautiful uh, I would actually put it in my restroom and I would actually put like perfumes and stuff and I wouldn't mind if it gets dirty on the inside I think it kind of gives it more personality and you know whenever I do want to use it as a bag I can just take all that out put a strap on it and I'm out the door and I've always wanted to add a vanity bag in my collection like a big one so the Goyard one is definitely on my list and I cannot wait to purchase it the next one is the trunk um, mini now this one got introduced I saw it not too long ago and it is right here I believe it's around forty three hundred dollars forty five hundred and then for the colored one it's gonna be a couple hundred dollars more but I just love the trunks like another thing I've always been a big fan of like vanity bags trunks and stuff I think it's very much like traveling vibes like uh, kind of like a step up, but you know, what's in, what's a brand that's known for that is Louis Vuitton But I don't really care for Louis Vuitton monogram or I don't really care for Louis Vuitton at all I want that trunk look but like I said, there's not a lot of brands that do all trunks or do trunks well So I think Goyard is a brand that does it really well and since they have this very small um, version of it 
I think it would be so cute for a date night. I think it'd be beautiful for a dinner bag. Um, I think it'd be beautiful to ease. It's an easy compact handbag to take for traveling. And so for me, I think that the trunk bag by Goyard is very, it's very different. I've yet to see somebody carry it. I think it's a great price point somewhat. And it will, it seems like it'll fit like a pretty decent amount. It's not like, um, a smaller handbag that won't fit a lot. I think it'll fit a pretty decent amount. And I find that it's a classic item or a classic looking item, but it has kind of a conversation starter aspect to it. Oh my God, I didn't know that Goyard had this. I always see so-and-so and so-and-so. And so. I think it's such a different aspect from the Goyard brand and that's what I really like about it. That's why I want to add the vanity bag and the trunk. I want to add two monogram pieces. Um, I'll most likely either get them in the white or in the black. I'm not sure about like an actual color. I may get the trunk in white and get the vanity bag in black just because the black will go with everything and then the white one can just be more of like for a more special occasion it's not a bag that I would take shopping. It's not a bag that I would take to the club. It's like a bag that I would take to a very like five-star restaurant or, you know, going to a restaurant with friends I, and, you know, just going back home after um, or like a Taco Tuesday, like very much like you use it for that occasion and you go back home or we use it for traveling for a nice dinner and then you go back and then you change and you wear something else to go out during the night. It's very much that one type of bag because I find that um, it looks a little delicate and I wouldn't want to ruin a $5,000 bag that's white. Those are the two Goyard items that I have on my wish list. Um, the next item is going to be a pin and it's going to be a Saint Laurent pin or brooch. And back into branding, I there's one brand that I really like a lot, and you guys know that's Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent is a brand that I talk so much about on my channel. It's a brand that I love so much. It's the one brand that I have the most of in ready to wear and accessories and in footwear. And it's such a brand that I respect and I love the heritage. I love the story behind Saint Laurent. And I think that the brand is a really great price point. And regardless of the price point, I, it matches my aesthetic and it matches me very, very well. And so since I do have a little bit of Saint Laurent ready to wear, I would love to add this beautiful pin into my collection to wear with my Saint Laurent blazer. You know, sometimes it does give like employee vibes like you work at Saint Laurent, but low key I'm kind of here for that vibe. But I would wear it with my Saint Laurent blouses. Like I have like a little bit of Saint Laurent ready to wear pieces, probably like maybe five, and I'm gonna continue to add a little bit more. And I feel like it would go really well with a lot of the Saint Laurent ready to wear that I have, and I feel like it would kind of step it up. And I've also seen people use the brooches and wearing them like on their hat, like on a beret. Not sure if I would do that, but I know that the pin would get a lot of wear because um, I would wear a uniform. I would wear it with Saint Laurent pants, Saint Laurent jacket, Saint Laurent handbag, Saint Laurent shoes, Saint Laurent fragrance. So it would all be kind of like a Saint Laurent vibe. And I already, I'm at the point in my Saint Laurent collection where I do have quite a bit of pieces where I can do that. And obviously I would wear maybe the pin with, um, and maybe if it wasn't a Saint Laurent outfit, but I am wearing a Saint Laurent handbag. Um, I could also see that. I have a feeling that I'm probably gonna get it in the either in the old hardware or in the silver. I don't think I'll go for gunmetal or any other color, but I do see the value in it, and I and I love Saint Laurent, so I do want to get it. So the Saint Laurent pin is on my wish list, and this is one of the lower price point items. So this is probably one of the items that I'll probably get first um, before anything else. This one is going to be a new brand of handbag, and it's going to be Celine. I think this is the year where I would either add a Celine, what's it called, Rio May bag. I don't know how to say it. Sorry, I'm not really good with pronunciation. I was really bad on English. This bag right here is the one that I really like, or I also like the classic box bag. I'm still kind of leaning more towards the classic box bag just because I find that, again, that's a little bit more of my style. It doesn't have the branding on it, and it's just very clean and minimalistic, and I can get a lot of wear with it. Now, this one in the color, I'm, I want a neutral color. Um, I definitely either want white, black, or some sort of brown or tannish color. Um, those are the colors that I really want to go for this because this is going to be a forever handbag in my collection. And same for the Goyards. They're going to be forever handbags in my collection. They're not going to be handbags that I get bored one season and I sell, especially if I'm going to pay full price with the, for them. Um, I want to make sure it's something that I love and that I cherish. And so for me, I do see myself adding a Celine bag this year. Celine has always been a brand that I liked. It's Celine, Saint Laurent, Thoreau, Goyard. Yard, Totem, Anina Bing, Frankie Shop, Loewe, those are all brands that I really, really like. So it would just kind of go with already a lot of the items that I have. Like it'll go well with my Totem jacket, with um, all my sweaters, all my knits, all my denim. And it's a 
it's a handbag that I can dress up and that I can dress down and it has structure so we all know that structure handbags tend to look a little bit more elevated they tend to look a little bit more expensive and for me that's why I like structured bags or smaller structured bags a sling handbag is definitely on the list um, and I'm very, very excited. And I think with the Celine bag, which are, if I go for the newer one, which is this one here, I would probably buy it brand new from the boutique. And if I go for the box bag, I most likely will buy it pre-love. And as far as the Goyard and the YSL, all those are going to be brand new purchases. Um, the next handbag, and I'm so excited. I'm probably going to get this bag like any day now. I'm going to walk into the coach store and I'm going to see it and I'm like, I'm gonna walk out with it and it's gonna be the coach hero bag and I'm I'm probably gonna get this in this kind of like canvasy version because I don't have anything like it the, and it gives me very like summer and spring vibes and the only bag that I really have that gives me summer and spring vibes honestly is uh, my Tory Burch Ella canvas tote and my Loewe basket bag so I would love to add a little bit more seasonal bags and I know I believe this is the replacement for the beat bag and so I do want to go ahead and add it especially that it's new um, I know they have like a hot pink version they have it in white and in black obviously but I really want this kind of canvasy version it's really pretty you know I live in Houston right now it's cold I, I went outside to get something out of my car girl it's a, it's a little chilly outside I was like I still need to wear like a little jacket but um, we only have like maybe like till like second or the third week of March and then it's gonna be back to that humidity weather And so I find that the canvas would go really well with everything that I have that I have prepared for the summer All my blouses bodysuits shorts all my sandals that I have that I collected last year um, I just think it's a really great spring and summer vibe and then I'm kind of getting I'm already kind of preparing for that kind of like humidity because I remember when I was in Houston during the summertime oh my god I would, I would I'm not even the type of person that would like sweat but I would sweat so 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 much and so for me um, I think that the hero bag not only is it really pretty I have yet to see it in person I'm actually going to San Antonio pretty soon so I hopefully I get to see it there but I just think it's gorgeous I think it's so pretty you guys know I have a big a big 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 heart for coach I love coach as a brand well I love all my brands um, but you know coach was my first ever handbag believe it or not um, I bought it with it was like $60 from the coach outlet I remember I paid in change and dollar bills and it was not embarrassing but it was like such like I really wanted the bag so I always have a special place for coach and so I really want the hero bag and I like the name of it and I can't wait to buy it in person and so they tell me the the history or like why they created that handbag the PK I would love 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 to hear about that but the coach hero bag is definitely on my list the next item and oh my god guys I feel like this is like when I first started my channel two years ago like during quarantine like I remember I talked about this like in a wish list and I have yet to even buy most of those items from like that wish list from like two years ago have most for the most part most of it has been purchased or the things that I'm still interested in like I think remova luggage a Roberto coin necklace like all those items I ended up getting but this one I still have not gotten and I should have probably gotten it like a long time ago or when I worked at Nordstrom because there's a time period where we carried this at Nordstrom and I could have gotten my 33% discount on it it's the Mason Michelle hat and the reason why I've always liked it is first of all I always see School of Affluence Anna Bay wear it and I think she wears the hats beautifully and that's where I even found out about the brand I even think when I went to London um, I saw the Mason Michelle hats I believe in Harrods I started watching Anna Bay like three years ago so I did see them in person and I did like them and I have seen some a little bit at like at Neiman Marcus's like as returns like just like one or two and I felt the quality I felt like the quality is really there I want the classic black one I have a big head so I'm probably have to get gonna get the sides large um ever since I shaved my head off obviously I'm at the point where I'm growing my hair back out but I also am embracing hats hats was like I didn't even have any hats in my collection the only hat that I had was like a sweaty Betty hat and now I have like so many hats in my collection so I would love to add a Mason Michelle hat especially during the summertime that it is humid and you know for me I am starting to take getting better care of my skin I'm using a lot more retinol so my skin is a lot more sensitive but my skin looks flawless like I feel like even in the camera when I look um, um, in the mirror like I think my skin has been the best it's ever ever been but I also want to wear hats also as like a safety measure um, I always wear glasses like sunglasses UV or polarized and I also like to wear sunscreen and I do like to reapply in the summertime in the summertime that's why you see me during the day wear like a lot of like not I will wear shorts and like short sleeves but I usually like to wear long sleeves and I like to be covered because I want to age well and obviously the sun's not really good for your skin in a long period of time especially here being humid so I think I will embrace and wearing more hats even though I will be having a full set of hair I think I may add maybe like 
two or three more inches and then I'm probably gonna color my hair probably like to lay blonde or kind of like that silver hair that I had last year but the Mason Michelle hat I definitely want it's gonna be something that I will buy definitely before the summertime um, kind of once it starts becoming more humid probably like in April or May it's definitely gonna be a hat that I'm be purchasing and I'm gonna wear the hell out of the hat I, they're probably gonna be like oh he's wearing the same hat and I'm gonna be like yes um, because I've been wanting the hat for such a long time and I've been putting it off and I'm finally gonna purchase it this year so Mason Michelle hat definitely going to be one that i will be buying this year for sure and also be leaving the links for everything that i'm talking about down below just in case if you want to inquiry about any of the items that i'm talking about the next item is going to be a piece of jewelry and this is the only jewelry that i really want to add and it is a maseka necklace so nordstrom did carry maseka and i was still wearing and we had a return of a maseka necklace and then i went to a local jewelry store in dallas and i saw the maseka jewelry and i just think it's so pretty i love how the diamonds have movement I I know Chappard does that and a couple other brands have that movement but I think it's so pretty it's so different than your Cartier and your Van Cleef you know I do like Van Cleef um, a lot I respect it I think it's a, such a respectable beautiful brand but a little bit too common for me it's a little bit too like typical it kind of reminds me of like those Kendra Scott necklaces that I would wear in high school and I would I still love Kendra Scott and I will always wear Kendra Scott kind of reminds me of like that and there's nothing wrong with that but I just find that if I get it, I find that I'm blending in a little bit too much and I want to blend out. And so I wanted to see like an alternative, you know, I do have that gold beautiful necklace by Roberto Coin. It's getting repaired. And for me, I like very simple and dainty jewelry. I don't really like a lot going on. And so for me, I already have a beautiful gold diamond necklace from Roberto Coin. It's beautiful. It's stunning. But I want to add a silver one because I do like, I'm starting to, I'm more of a silver person, but I'm starting to get a little bit more gold items. And so for me the maseka necklace which is this one right here i like how very clean and simple i like when you move around the neck the necklaces are like if you go to six flags and you're like on the roller coaster and the diamonds just kind of move around uh, or like fiesta texas i think that's so cute or when there's turbulence on the airplane and you're like this ooh, and then like the necklace moves i don't know it kind of gives it character um or you're like you have to like put your brakes on your car and the necklaces moves i just i like it and i like that it moves and i think that it's so different and i just kind of want like a simple i don't want something that's super big or super exaggerated i think the more simpler it is i think the more that i would appreciate it and like it more more of a dainty person like i said i only like i'm gonna make a video of the ones offs that i only see myself having and so the maseka necklace is beautiful and i cannot wait to add it and this is a purchase that i will probably most likely buy pre-love because maseka doesn't do it that well compared to retail so maseka would be probably something that i would probably buy like off of fashion file because fashion file does carry more higher end jewelry brands if you didn't know so starting last year they started carrying um more brands like roberto coin and they started carrying um maseka and a couple other brands so i'll leave fashion file link down below that's my favorite place to get pre-loved items so i'll probably end up buying it off a of fashion file and i really don't care if it doesn't come with the case or anything because um nor i just have uh, my jewelry in just one box and i just kind of wear it as i kind of need it so the maseka necklace is definitely going to be a yes but the next thing is going to be another noah into my collection so you guys know that i am in love with my low wave puzzle bag i get so much wear out of it um ever since i purchased it i think in april last year um it was kind of it has like a lot of meaning because um so somebody kind of like contributed towards this bag like a little bit what's in here something's rolling oh <laughs> here's all my uh lagos bracelets i was looking for them but um it has like a, a like a little bit of meaning and i've always wanted this bag and i get so much wear out of this bag and so i think this time around i want to buy another loewe puzzle bag now this one i got for a steal i got this one for about like 950 dollars from neiman marcus last call or like a thousand fifty compared to twenty seven hundred dollars or twenty eight hundred dollars and this was a Berger Goodman exclusive and so I got it for such a steal and I've been wearing it non-stop and so for me I definitely want to get it either I don't want to pay a lot of money I wouldn't buy it brand new is what I'm trying to say I would probably get it pre-loved and as far as the variation of the Loewe puzzle bag um I'm okay I, I want to try color and it could be either a baby size it could be this size a small size or it can be the larger size I am 5'11 almost six foot so even the larger one proportion looks good this one looks good uh, great it looks really well and it doesn't it actually it's really well with a lot of my coats it's a good size and i like the strap because it's pretty long 
but I do want to add another little wavy puzzle bag just because I do see the value in it and I get so many it's like if you know about it you know about it and I get so many compliments on my little wavy puzzle bag and when I go to those boutiques and stuff and like the sales associates like I feel like they kind of respect it and I, I can't tell you how many times I go into a designer boutique or people that kind of know luxury fashion or designer fashion and they see it and they kind of like you know oh a little wavy puzzle bag I don't see that too often I see Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Chanel, um, Gucci, uh, I see those brands a little bit more, but when I see this, I'm like, oh, oh, it's a, she's, she, he's a little different, he's a little simple, me, Sergio, he's a little simple, he's a little plain Jane, but he's a little different, so that's what I like about it, and it, it, it has, like, it moves, it, it, like, moves, it's malleable, easy to travel with, it's been to almost every trip, she's been such a great bag, Noah, so I definitely want to add a little brother, a little sister, um, with Noah, this is the only bag that I have a name for it, and so I want to get one. So, uh, another Louis Vuitton puzzle bag I would love to add into my collection, and most likely it will be pre loved or maybe like brand new from a designer sale. I definitely want, don't want to pay um, no more than $1,500 for a Louis Vuitton puzzle bag, so I'm open to what it is, but definitely. Um, I would I would want to at least get it half off if I'm being honest and I like that I'm telling you with the purchases if they're gonna be brand new or pre-loved I think that also kind of helps out because you know I'm, I'm be keeping it real like do should I buy it pre-loved or new I think the low wave puzzle bag is probably gonna be a pre-loved purchase another item that I want to add is going to be Miu Miu handbag pre-loved I love Miu Miu as a brand I know it's very girly very feminine very much like not my style when people see Miu Miu they're like Sergio you really like Miu Miu I love Miu Miu I, I think it's like the little girl that's like inside my soul. I love Miu Miu. I think it's so girly. I think it's so flirty. And I want to add a Miu Miu handbag. Uh, pre love. I go on Fashion File like maybe like every two, three weeks and I see if there's one that I like. I haven't found the perfect one that I like. Good thing about Miu Miu, it doesn't do too well on the pre love market. So therefore, I would probably purchase it pre love. And I kind of like the older styles that they did from 2015 to 2018. Like a lot of them with like the little hearts and stuff. So I definitely want to get like a cute kind of quirky one. Um, um, and I'm very open for the Miu Miu bag. And this bag is probably going to be, this is probably the most novelty item out of the entire 12 list. Um, is a Miu Miu bag because it's like like it's like so like random everything else kind of goes with each other But I do want to add a Miu Miu um, A little handbag to my collection so Miu Miu hopefully it will happen this year And when I see it on fashion file or like a pre-love website the one that I like and it's a decent price I'm probably gonna go for it. The next item is going to be another item that I have been wanting for such a long time and I bought it when it was literally $1,800 when I bought my black one and it's gonna be my Bottega Veneta Jody and I want it in the beautiful white color and the reason why I want it in the white color is just because I wear so many neutral colors and I like that my black Jody just goes with absolutely everything it's a comp it's a it's a handbag that really makes maybe like another so if I'm wearing like a Versace outfit uh, you know a two-piece ready to wear and I wear a Bottega one in a bag it kind of makes it uh, not like such in your face it kind of makes it a little bit more tamed it brings it down a little bit and I like that it's just very discreet luxury even though the Jody is a popular handbag and a lot of people do really like it I think the white one would just add so much value I already I've worn my black one to death and I will continue to wear it and so therefore I also want um, the white one I think the white one would get a lot of wear just how much as I want it and it's also gonna go well with another item that's on the next item that's on this list um, and I wear like a lot of whites in the summertime white is one of my favorite colors And so why not the black one is with silver hardware the gold one the white one is going to be with gold hardware So I have a little bit of best of both worlds and it's such like a easy uh, Throw around like mini bag to have around it's a perfect brunch bag perfect run around errands bag and so I like it, so I definitely want to add it into my collection. The next item is going to be Hermes Oron sandals, or whatever the, the men's version is called. I always forget the name. The men's version of the Oron sandals I want to add into my collection. And why? Now, that they're out of stock in the Hermes website currently, but it's also not a purchase that I want right just right now. I'll probably wait until the summertime. Um, the Oron sandal that I bought last year at the Hermes boutique here in Houston when I was visiting before I lived here um, I, I wear them. I think they're so pretty. They're tricolor and I got them versus the black one And I think that was a great choice because they're black and brown So it goes with it kind of breaks it up and I can kind of wear a little bit more colors with them 
um, but I really want the old white ones because I want more white sandals. So right now I have um, a pair of Alexander McQueen sandals that are on the way that I ordered uh, the, out of the last the designer finale sale. I have my um, white Toy Bird sandals, and so I think this is like a great white sandal to add. And after that, I think I'm pretty good on sandals. I think I have black sandals, I have brown sandals. Um, maybe like a lighter brown like this color I would love to add because the brown sandals that I have are a little bit more chocolate from Jamito Rossi. Um, and then like the Miller sandals are a little bit more of a darker one. I kind of want like a lighter one. And after that, I think I have like all the neutral sandals that I could possibly ever want. Um, so I do want to add that sandal into my collection. And it's, it, they're really comfortable. I didn't have to break them in. And I'm a true 41 in the men's Oron sandals. And then the last item that I want to add is a belt. And it is from Bottega Veneta. And it is the triangle belt. This one, I kind of want it in the regular standard size. And I would get it in either white or black either with gold or silver hardware i think i want like white belt i don't have any white belts and like i said i wear white a lot so i really i would honestly see me see myself buying them in two different colorways like a white with gold maybe like a black with silver just because i like to have many variations of belt and i like for them to all go with my outfits and um you know i have my hermes belt and my tom ford belt but those are more of my statements and i want belts that are designer but don't scream a logo or brand on it and I find that the Bottega Mineta triangles, and it's like if you know what it is, if you know what it is, but it's not in your face. So yeah, guys, those are going to be my wish list for 2022. I think that they're all really great additions. I think they all go well. Everything already, other than the Mew Mew bag, I feel like everything already goes with my style and my aesthetic. And I cannot wait to add them into my collection. So I'm going to be working off this entire year to make all these little purchases happen. I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I love each and every single one of you with the bottom of my little gay homosexual little heart. Los quiero, los quiero mucho. I'll leave the link for everything linked down below. Let me know what's on your list. I would love to hear it down below. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys, and take care.